Good morning, we are at the brand new Bond Street Elizabeth Line station where I've partnered with Otis who installed and maintains escalators at this station and I'm here to shoot time lapses of them, so let's go. the most exciting out of the new escalators which is at the Hanover Square entrance and this is the second longest escalator on the whole underground network. Otis built the first escalator on London Underground in 1911 and still does today. Latest work is here on the Elizabeth Line, where Otis manufactured, installed and is maintaining 64 escalators. And that's on top of the other 77 escalators Otis maintains on the tube network. These escalators are built to bespoke London Underground specification so they can operate for 20 hours a day. This shot here is the beautiful symmetrical look up where you can actually see the detail of the ceiling above the escalators. I shot a couple of time lapses from here, static ones as well as a motion one, and I think it looks absolutely spectacular. At the other end of the Elizabeth Line 2 platforms, you come to the Davis Street exit, which has the two sets of new escalators leading you towards the tube network. Here's where I decided to set up a second motion time lapse of the day at the bottom side section of the escalators, less in everyone's way and going backwards in line with the movement of people on the foreground going down. 10 minutes to relax while it's shooting, and then it was straight back into static time lapses. The task behind the time lapses that I'm shooting here today is to show how Altis is elevating the efficiency and safety of the machines that move us. Did you know, Altis moves the equivalent of the entire world's population every three days. Come to think about it, it's impressive to think how much an escalator needs to withstand in such a highly trafficked area. It's all about flow and moving people quickly and safely throughout busy stations. There's nothing worse than getting off at your stop and seeing a down escalator, which is why Otis spends so much time and energy ensuring everything on the back end. The more technical side that we passengers don't always see or really appreciate. At this interconnecting level between the Elizabeth Line and the tunnel leading towards the tube network, I decided to shoot a motion time lapse that would reveal the nameplates and the artwork in the ceiling while capturing the movement of people across this escalator. Setting up motion time lapses can take significant space considering you have a sliding rail mounted on a tripod on each side. So I really enjoyed this challenge of working in a busy environment while still going for the shot I really like, but without interrupting the general public on their fast paced commute walking lines. Shooting this project for Otis was a huge privilege as it allowed me this rare opportunity to set up tripods and motion control time-lapse rigs with Transport for London's permission at this brand new Bond Street station that otherwise would not be easy to obtain. So I'm very grateful for each and every one of these unique opportunities that my line of work presents me and the fact that I can share the results of these projects with you. I hope in this video I was able to showcase Otis's role at the intersection of design and technological innovation to get people where they need to go in an elegant way.
Thanks for watching the video. I encourage you to come and visit Bond Street and experience the escalators for yourself. See you in the next video.